Hi, in this video, um, I think I'm in the wrong program. This is a Blender tutorial, I'm in GIMP. And again, I'm in the wrong program. This is Inkscape. this is for my second channel. Hi, what you just saw is this slide, swipe or swoosh transition. It has many different names, but it's basically when the image moves from uh, left to right or right to left or top to bottom or the opposite direction sometimes in two directions at the same time it could be moving to the left and up and I'm going to show you how to do this in Blender which for those of you who don't know is a free open source 3D animation program but it also has a very powerful video editor that you can use for free you know that uh, video editing software can be expensive but in Blender we can do these things for free the only downside is that the software is not the most user friendly. That's why sometimes you need a tutorial to figure out how to do something. So let's get started. The first thing of course you need to do is to import some video files in Blender. And uh, before that of course make sure you're in the video editing option here. So over here you choose video editing. And also over here make sure you choose these um, properties option and you yours should look like mine now to import video files in blender you go to the add option choose movie and then navigate to the files or you can drag and drop files from a folder directly into blender now here i have two files one is a recording of gimp and one is a recording of blender but if you have just one continuous clip and you want to at some point uh, make this transition you can just cut it and to do this you just select where you want to cut it click with the left mouse button to move to different uh, places in the file and for example if you want to make a cut here make sure to right click on the clip and then just press shift K this will make a cut and this way you have two different clips now I'm going to undo this with control Z because I don't want to have a cut over here now the next thing you need to decide is how much the two clips uh, need to overlap and it really depends on what kind of frames per second you are recording. For example I'm recording my screen with 60 frames per second so this is what I have selected here and that's why if I want to for example the clips to overlap for half a second this means that I need to overlap them for 30 frames. Half a second sometimes is too much for this transition, so I'm going to do 20 frames, basically one third of a second. So I'm going to make sure this is selected, right click on it, hold down the shift key and right click on this one. This is the audio clip from this uh, file. Then uh, click on the G key and this will allow me to move both these clips at the same time. And you can see here that this is ending at 414 frames. So if I want to overlap them, with 20 frames I need to go to 394 frames so you can see the clip that I'm moving right now is on 394 frames that's where it begins so I'll just click with the left mouse button to apply this move now if I zoom in a little bit just rotating the mouse wheel forward you can see where the two clips overlap now next I need to go to the beginning of this clip so I can just click here and also use the left and right arrows to see where I'm at I'm going to zoom in and this is where this clip begins the next thing I want to do is I want to add go to add here effect strip and I want to add this transform effect strip but make sure that we have only the video clip selected so I'm going to click away here with the right mouse button then click on this one to select it add effect strip and then go to transform next I'm going to go around here where this ends this clip ends and also go a couple of frames inside uh, the next one going to click here to select this shift K to make a cut and this way this will um, limit this transform effect strip only to here this way we can save render time I'm going to the beginning of this clip here so just click with the left mouse button 
then right click on this transform strip make sure we have uh, for the blend overdrop then going down here to the position I'm going to select for the X position 100 and I'm going to explain this a little bit later what it's actually doing then mouse over here and um, press the I key this is going to insert a frame then I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to go back to the position and type 0 enter key then mouse over I key again this is going to insert another keyframe and now if we go back you can see how over here in the display how if I move how this is changing how it's sliding into position now the next thing I want to do now about the position here you can see if I type in a hundred you can see what this does it's sliding it is sliding from right to left now if I type in minus 100 is going to be sliding from left to right if I go to the Y here I can make it from top bottom or bottom top or you can use both of them at the same time now the next thing I want to do is also blur this image so when I am uh, actually seeing the uh, transition here I want this to be a little bit blurred so to do this Again, going to the top here, making sure this is selected, the transform strip, going to add effect strip and adding this blur here, clicking on that, going back here on the options and making sure we are on the overdrop again, going here, we can decide what the size is, for example, 200, again, mouse over I key to insert a keyframe. And then going back to the last frame here, making it zero. And then I key again to insert another keyframe. And now if you go back here and I start moving with the right arrow key, you can see how this is coming in and it's blurred. And when it's here, it's a little bit less blurred and then it's going to clear. So this is how easy it is to make this slight transition. The last thing you need, of course, is to add a sound. The way to import a sound is again going to the add sound and then navigate to the sound you want to import or you can drag and drop from a folder directly into Blender. Over here I have this sound that it's from the YouTube Creator Studio library, there is a lot of sound effects there, also free music that you can use in your videos. If you are making videos in YouTube, you should have access to this. You can see the name of this file, it's Punch Swoosh series and there are actually a lot of sounds here. I just cut one of them. Also you can just do a Google search and try to find different uh, swoosh or slide uh, sound effects that are free. And then what we need to do is to position this so right click on it and just move it over here just hold down the right mouse button and position it here exactly on top of this and now this sound is going to play as the transition is happening so as you can see nothing difficult to make this effect just remember that when you are adding this transform strip make sure this is selected when you're adding the transform strip and when you're adding the blur if you want to have a blur it's not really necessary just make sure this is selected then go and add the effect strip with the blur this way uh, it will work properly let's see it one more time just moving each frame by frame you can see how it's coming in And that was the transition. I did the ones that you saw in the beginning of the video absolutely in the same way. So that's it for this video. I hope that it was useful. If it was, make sure to give it a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Subscribe if you're new and visit my channel for more. That's it for this one. Bye for now.